I'll use my trusty frying pan as a drying pan. Ha <laughs> <laughs> dear me. I'll tell you what, fellas. Brock has some of the biggest knee slappers throughout the whole entire TV show, and I think Pokemon hurt the, like, you know, they heard all these jokes, nothing, and we've done Brock the nasty. We never gave him, like, a big send-off. So now, 2019, they've gone and released a Pokemon Center exclusive Brock box. As a drying pan. You think I'm joking? Well, dude, it's literally in front of me right now, and today they literally released a Pokemon Center exclusive Brock box only available at the Pokemon Center in Japan, so I got it shipped over here. What's included in the Brock box is something really, really weird. A Brock deck, so it's obviously going to include a couple of the Pokemon that he always has at his gym, like Onyx and all those bangers. Brock card sleeves, a Brock deck box, a Brock coin, and just this box right here that you can probably keep all your Pokemon cards in, but... Y yeah, th this is a Brock box, and then they went and released a Misty one as well, so we'll open that up tomorrow. But I was thinking, you know what, since there's no boost packs inside of the Brock box... I've got to make this video the most epic one ever, so thanks to the Card Bazaar, the mystery box we opened yesterday, and if you haven't seen that, here's pretty much what happened. Oh, fellas! It's not- what the flip? I see booster boxes already! Old, I don't even know what to say. Uh, look at this! Yeah, like a lot of freakouts, but anyway, I thought we'd open half of a tag team booster box, and we'll open the other half with the misty box tomorrow, and then... I thought, you know what, I got this as well, and if you haven't seen this yet, this is actually something really cool, let's get this to focus up. It's got an ultra shiny GX booster right here, so there's a chance we can get a shiny Charizard or like a gold card, and then more tag teams, so we'll open a whole one of these as well. Let's just make this the greatest video ever, and, uh, and yeah, let's open all those boosters as well. So without further ado, let me uh, open up this booster box, trim the tops off, open up this blister, trim the tops off, and then we'll crack open the Brock box. This is going to be wild. You know what I kind of realized is you can't even say Brock box like 10 times fast because you just get tongue tied. It's like Brock box, Brock box, Brock box, Brock box, Brock box, Brock box. I can't even do it. I literally sound like Brock box. It's ridiculous. Anyway, if you just want to comment Brock Box 10 times fast, I, I wouldn't even be mad, to be honest. I'd probably love harder. Yeah, just a real real bit of a tongue twister. And you'd also think that, like, seeing as the Brock Box here, it doesn't come with any boosters. It just comes with, like, you know, a couple card sleeves. That's pretty cool. It's got his uh, gym badge on the side. But it's, like, just a collector's box with no boosters or anything, just a deck, right? You're thinking, oh, dude, it's probably, probably not going to be that extremely popular. Not everyone's going to want it. Whoa, this is sick! I take everything back, look at that! That's a full life-size Brock box! <laughs> what is Brock? And City Gym? This is sick, I didn't even realize that! Okay, all right, now I kind of see the appeal. Then it's got the energies on the other side, and then I'm pretty sure you open it as if like Brock's on the top here, then we oh, get each end out. Oh, look at this, that's really cool! Oh, that's not. But we got sleeves, the uh, deck box right there, and then the, uh, oh, there we go, the deck with Onyx GX inside of it. Alright, I take everything back. This is actually pretty sick, so let's get the deck box out. But, you're thinking like, you know, it's, uh, I, I probably wouldn't get it. This thing sold out day one in Japan, and I had to pay, like, extra to try and find someone to get it for me, because it was so popular. I'm pretty sure if you translate what I paid for this into Australian money, it was like... $80 or maybe $75 for the Brock box. It's insane. Same with the Misty one for that matter. So I'm keeping everything because I think resale on this is crazy. Now I'm not going to open this because this is just the damage counters. You get the coin as well. You can see that. Look at him. Maybe it will. Oh, I don't know if I should open it. I'm going to leave this shut because I think this is advertisements and a play mat. Because I think this is more if you're getting into competitive and you want the original like Brock deck. Yo, these sleeves are awesome. I don't know about you, I don't know about, I don't want to do any big calls, but I feel like Japanese sleeves are just a little bit more high quality than the English ones. Oh! I know, controversial Ando's back at it again, but yeah, I love this. Oh, damn, that looks cool. Oh my, I hope they release, because they've only got Brock and Misty out, I hope they release the rest of the gyms. Could you imagine a Blaine's? Oh, you have an original base set Charizard, put it in a Blaine sleeve. That would be epic. Then we've got the deck box. Not, I love the Pewter City, like, gym badge right there. Okay, I'll leave that one there, actually. Put that in the backgrounds. 
And then last but not least, it's just the uh, deck. Let's find out what sort of Pokemon cards you're getting here. Right off the bat, this is the big draw card, the Onyx GX. Pretty sure this is our first ever Onyx GX as well. Number 11 out of 31. Okay, two Onyx GXs, already pretty good. Oh, what the flips this artwork? I haven't seen anything on this box, by the way. That looks so good. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks to season one of the anime again, boys. Damn. I'm sorry if I go extra slow. That artwork is to die for. Yep, of course you got to have the original Geo dude. Like, that's a staple. Graveler's going to be in their set too, running at the camera. And then Golem. Cubone, Rhyhorn. Original bunch of Rhyhorns, of course. Sudowoodo. Bro, what are you, did you did you sneak in the set? Interesting. Then we got... Oh, don't tell me that's all trainers. Don't! Oh my... <laughs> this is why I got booster packs. We got uh, Nest Balls, Great Balls, Pokemon Transfers, Net Catcher, Sabrina... Oh, look at this. We got Brock as well. Dude, we got a whole bunch of these bad boys. Nurse Joy just healing all the Pokeballs right there. And then I think it's Prista... Oh, there's the actual gym itself. That's a fan favorite. I like his gym aesthetic, actually. Then, yeah, a bunch of fighting and... Um, uh, normal type energies as well. This is random as. That's actually not a lot of Pokemon cards, but I guess that's all you probably need to be able to play a basic version of this competitively. I actually rate those first ones though. That Onyx GX? How good does that look? I'm putting that at the back, so that's a decent pull. And we got two of those bad boys. Then I want to put these at the back as well, because that artwork is to die. Oh no, Ultra Ball overboard! But yeah, that artwork is actually to die for. I really, really enjoyed that. I'm going to sleeve those up in my Brock sleeve afterwards as well. And then, with that original promo uh, blister pack that I just showed you guys, it also came with a promo holo Pikachu with the Eon stamp right here. I thought that was pretty cool as well. Bit of a random one. I love my Pikachu like different promos. And this one's number 307 in the Pokemon Sun and Moon scale. So a good looking card. I think today's video is really aimed at like the hardcore collectors. Let me know if you like these types of videos or if they're a bit boring, but this is the more in-depth like Pokemon weird products they released at the Pokemon Center. I, I love it because I'm really into the TCG uh, collecting side of it. But look what the first booster pack they include is. An Ultra Shiny. They know this set did absolute bananas and everyone wants to collect it. So without further ado, I think it's three. If I stuff this up, I'm going to cry. Not we did good. And let's hope we can get a, sh a full art shiny Charizard. We're guaranteed a GX no matter what. Full art shiny Charizard or a gold card. I'd take any Dunsparce. Got the energies. Here we go. There's our two different holos. And then we got a GX. Oh, look at that. Soul Galio just jumping for joy. Oh, I was really pumped up to get something crazy. And the Shattered Glass, which is actually the same as our... Uh, look at that. Same as our holo as well. Oh no, the fact we only get one of those boosters too makes me want to cry. That's okay though, we probably should put that GX at the back. I know, I've just got so many now. Oh man, I want to open another booster box of that set, but it's slowly... It's just, it's going up on eBay, like they're really popular. So I think it's one from the back with this tag team set, and pretty much the only reason I'm opening this booster box up is A, because the card bizarre sent it to us, so Legends, I'll leave a link in the description below to their website. But I really want a Rainbow Rare tag team card, that's literally a goal of mine. Yo, sure, what? Have we- I don't think I've even got this dude in English. Aerodactyl regular rare. Oh, well, that's a regular uncommon actually, being Japanese. But yeah, I really want a rainbow rare tag team card, and I can't for the life of me pull one. Full art cards are awesome enough, but just a rainbow rare would be so sick. Pidgeot- There we go, boys! Our first tag team GX. It's uh, just a regular old GX, but that's totally fine. Featuring none other than Gengar and Mimikyu. One of my absolute favorites. This in the full art card, I honestly believe would look so cool. My go-to rainbow red that I'm dying to pull is the Zekrom and Pikachu card. Even the Gengar and Mimikyu, I think that fad is awesome. Um, what, what else? I don't think there's other ones that really scream out to me. I mean, Venusaur and Celebi, because it sells for the most. And a fuller Erica, because that thing is like the most lethal Pokemon card of all time. Everyone wants to buy that. Something it sells for like 85, 80 bucks on eBay. It's ridiculous. So basically any full art would be epic. What do you guys had? I know a lot of people were like really, really 50-50 on this set. I've been getting a lot of tweets, people saying, oh, this set's like, oh, just a holo Omnistar. Don't worry, sit back down, do your pants back up, Jonathan. Gosh. But yeah, I know a lot of people have been tweeting me and they're like, Ando? Not really feel, feeling tag team. This this team upset's been pretty average. 
What do you reckon? Has it been average? Are you enjoying it? Keen to find out what you guys reckon. For me, I think it's still cool. I think what's happened is I've opened so many of these team up base set uh, booster boxes in Japanese. Is when the English came out, it's like, oh, I've kind of already seen these and like the set's not crazy crazy. But I think if you appreciate for what it is, it's a brand new type of card. Gyarados Hollow? That's pretty good. Gyarados Hollow in the fire? Looks epic. Kinda looks like a movie scene out of like the Mewtwo movie or something. But if you appreciate for what it is, it's a brand new type Pokemon card, the team up cards. I think it's a pretty cool initiative. And uh, you just gotta hunt for the mascot, the Pikachu and Zekrom Rainbow Rare. Nido King! Like the boss that he is. Oh, that's not at the back. Just a cool Pokemon. So I think I think the set's okay. The set is ridiculously huge. I know that. I know it's really hard to collect in English. But how are you guys going? I want everyone to leave a comment. How are you going with the Oh! You know what's funny is I'm pretty sure this card still sells for a bit. Put the price up now. I'm pretty sure that's like um still a pricey holo card for being just a holo card because it's her like ability. So if you get it in full light, it just looks really cool, but it's the same ability. But yeah, let me know. How are you guys going? Have you got a couple of Rainbow Rare full light tag team cards? Have you been doing alright? I know if you pull a regular GX in the English set, it doesn't sell for a lot because no one really wants it. Probably why people don't like the set as well. But I'm curious to see how you guys are going. What are you pulling? I think any GX pull, fantastic pull. It's going to look just as good in your binder as the other ones. Oh, what the flip! That's a sick pull! That's a sick pull, fellas, dude! Damn, okay. You know what? Everyone dissing the fuller tag team cards. Go sit back down in your seat because this is wild. It's a sick rare too, no way. We just bought a... F okay, this is what I'm missing. Snorlax and Eevee fuller card. You proud of me, Brock? I pulled this out of your box. This is amazing. That sounded really weird. Anyway. Bruh. Why? Why does this one seem cooler than normal full arts that I'm pulling? Dead set. I love it. Oh, that is sick. Maybe because Eevee's on it. And Snorlax, my two, like, favorite... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, is a sick pull. That's awesome. Okay, putting that in the back right now. What do you guys think? Yeah? Am I, I'm not overreacting, am I? That's actually a really, really good pull. Yes! <laughs> That's awesome! Okay, I can't believe that was a secret rare as well. Maybe all the fuller cards are secret rares in the set. Damn! That's a good little opening we've done! Anyway, let's keep going. Got Dratini. Oh, Hollow Blast Toys. Star you. <whistles> Love my original starters right there. Nearly done with this first half of the booster box. It goes so quick when you only have five cards per pack. Look at his nose! His honker is so big! Charmander, what are you doing? Gosh, okay, right down to the nitty and gritty. I think, I think, yeah, I don't know if we'll get another GX's part though, because there's like four or three GX's per box out of a Japanese set, and I'm pretty sure the other two GX's, or one, it's going to be in the other side, which we'll crack open tomorrow in the Misty box. What is Misty's, oh, I reckon Misty box will have like a Star You and Star Me in her theme deck. Oh, the life-size Misty box as well? Oh, gee whiz. This is going to be a good meme. I love this. All right, so we've got Pid uh, Pidgeot. Then we've got none other. Did we actually just double up? That's ridiculous. Two of the same holo cards in a row. Bro. All right, second to last booster. This is where it all gets a bit tight. This is where everyone's like, oh, jeez. Nido Queen. We've got none other. Magic up. What the fuck? We've got two. Two bullets in a row. This time we've got a board. It's a double secret rare. This doesn't happen, this doesn't happen. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Fellas, 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 fellas. The Card Bazaar has sent us an error box. I don't care, I don't, I don't... Oh my god, that does not happen. You don't pull two sick reds in one box, let alone in the half. I still have all of these boosters to open up, plus the half that just fell out when I picked it up. What the flip? Oh, I've never had an error Japanese box. I've always dreamed of it, but it's never happened. Two full arts, one side of the box. Dude, stay tuned for tomorrow's opening. It's going to be off its rocker. God, that's sick. What's in the last booster? What's in the last booster, though? Literally let me know. Tell me it's not a GX or anything crazy. Nine tails? Come on. Let's go to... Okay. What happened, fellas? Dude, this
this recap's actually really, really sick. Oh my gosh. Okay, out of the Brock Box and Friends booster box that we just cracked open. What was that? I don't know what just came out of my mouth. But we've got the promo Pikachu, which is already a highlight. Then a regular stack of hollows. I think it's about, look at that. We pulled an expensive as holo as well. I think it's about seven different uh, holy cards we've pulled here. Then you get the hand drawn. Only available in the Brock Box holo cards. These will be worth a bit down the road. I can, I can pretty much guarantee that. Two of those. GX's. We've got a Smorkus board. Mimikyu and Gengar team up. Then we've got Solgaleo. We've got Onyx GX. How about another Onyx GX? Then we've got two Secret Rares. I don't know how. Sabrina. And Tag Team, Eevee and Snorlax. Everyone, stay tuned for tomorrow's Misty opening. It's about to be wild. Thanks again to the Cubbers for sending out the craziest box ever. Um, but yeah, most of all have a fantastic day. I'll see you in tomorrow's uh, opening video. Demolish the like button, make sure you subscribe if you're new. But most of all, I'm going to put this in my binder and keep on gaming. Alright, see you then guys.